We are very excited to be releasing the latest Ontario customization for prerequisites in PowerSchool. This new feature shows you at a glance if the student has met the prerequisite for a course. In this example, we have a grade 11 student who would like to drop his AWQ 30R course. This course is offered semester 1, period 3. Prior to dropping his course, I want to ensure that I can find something to fit his schedule, so I'm not going to drop it until I have scheduled him into a new class. If I want to use the new prerequisite functionality, I need to use the Search Available Classes screen. Please keep in mind that the term at the top of the screen will affect what you see when you use the Search Available Classes function. Currently, my term is set to Semester 1, when I change the period to period 3 and click on Find, the system will look for courses that run in Semester 1, period 3. The Note column will display a note if the course has prerequisites. A green button in the prerequisite column indicates that the student has met the prerequisite. A red button indicates that they have not met the prerequisite. And a yellow button indicates that they are currently taking a course that will meet the prerequisite. If the note column is blank, this indicates that the course does not have any posted prerequisites. Prerequisites are managed by the Student Success Department with support of Learning Technologies. If you click on a green button, it will display the course that the student took to meet the requirement, as well as the mark and when it was completed. The button will not indicate if the student has already completed the specific course as this function is only looking at prerequisites. If you click on a red button, it will display the course requirements. The red indicates that the student has not met these requirements. If you click on a yellow button, it will display the course requirements. It will also show you that the student is currently taking a course that does meet that requirement. PowerSchool will not stop you from selecting a course where the student has not met the prerequisites. Remember, when you are searching for available classes, you can use the filter by area to reduce the number of classes that are displayed. Since this student is in grade 11, I want to begin by filtering on grade 11 classes. We can then review the courses that are available during the period and determine if any are suitable for the student. Together, we have determined that the student would like to take the Hospitality and Tourism course, TFJ 3E1. Before I click on the course to select it, I should determine when the student will start the class. If tomorrow will be their first day, I would adjust the date at the top of the screen to tomorrow's date prior to clicking on the course. The enroll date should be the first day of attendance in the course. Once I've adjusted the date, I can then click on the course to select it. Now, let's drop the current course that he is leaving, the AWQ-30R. To do that, from the Modify Schedule screen, I select the course to be dropped and click on the Drop Selected button. The drop date is always the first day of non-attendance. So if tomorrow will be the student's first day that he will not be attending the course, I will change the date to tomorrow's date and drop the class. Remember, if a student has never attended a course, please use a drop date of before the course started. That will delete all records of the class. If you are planning on deleting a class record, and there is any attendance recorded against the class, you must remove the attendance prior to dropping the course. The All Enrollment screen is a complete list of all courses that a student has been in since our PowerSchool implementation. It is preferable that it does not contain courses that the student never attended. Courses cannot be deleted from the All Enrollment screen.